What's up, Center Point? My name is Frankie, and I have the privilege of being the pastor right here at the Bayshore campus, and I'm so blessed by this past year. I know there was a lot of craziness that went on, but from the congregation, there's just been a real heart for ministry, a heart for people in all the different areas that we cover here. And one of the things I'd love to highlight is our compassion. See, every Saturday, our food pantry gives out groceries and non-perishables to upwards of 70 different families every single week. We have a team of volunteers committed to this ministry, especially during the holidays. During Christmas and Thanksgiving, we were able to give out boxes of full, complete dinners to families that were in need right here in our community. And it really is a credit to everyone involved. The other compassion ministry here at Bayshore is our Haven ministry, where normally we would have about 30 different guests stay with us overnight because they have no place to go, especially during the winter months. Instead, because of COVID, we are taking this ministry out to them. We're bringing them warming blankets, toiletries, hot food, and of course, company. We're literally meeting them where they are. We're the church, but we're going out to them. This ministry really only runs because of all the volunteers involved with it. I'm so blessed by the people that are committed to helping the community around us. And of course, I have to shout out our life group leaders. You guys do such a wonderful job keeping those things going. This church, this campus, I'm so blessed by what's to come next year. I love you guys, 11706. Hi everyone, my name is Tom. I have the privilege of being the campus pastor here at Center Point Church, Kings Park. Shout out to CPKP, 2020 was rough. But I'll tell you, we had some serious wins. One of the things that we did while CP Kids was shut down, in fact, while all the services were shut down during the worst part of the lockdown, we opened up a scavenger hunt here on the church property so the families could come, get a day away, have something fun for the kids. It was absolutely fantastic. We also had a masquerade fest in October. Once we were able to safely meet outdoors, we had a huge fall festival. We had food, we had trunk or treat, we had dancing, we had ax throwing. We also started to do Alpha. Alpha is uh, an outreach for people who are just exploring the Christian faith. We started live, and then when COVID started to rise a little bit more, we locked it down and we went online. It's been amazing. Our life groups have been doing an amazing job. Our life group leaders are superheroes. We also have our huddle. Our huddle is a team here at Center Point Church in Kings Park, which is amazing. It's helping people get out of the stands into the game. We don't have any spectators. They're all doing ministry together. They've been absolutely fantastic pitching in, getting stuff done. But here's my, here's my biggest win, here's my biggest brag. As COVID locked in and people started to suffer more, especially people that were running out of money, our folks reached into their pocket and literally gave away thousands of dollars to each other and really, really genuinely took care of each other. I'm so proud of our folks. 2020, we had some wins for the kingdom of Jesus. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kroger and I have the privilege of leading the Center Point Church Long Beach campus. And I know 2020 was a tough season to say the least, but I saw God move powerfully in 2020 because I saw the people of Center Point Church Long Beach step up and take care of one another. We saw so many people lose their jobs from the hospitality industry in Long Beach, but the people of Center Point Church Long Beach stepped up and cared for each other and supported each other in whatever ways they could. And I'm so proud of them as a congregation. Also, our life group leaders were amazing when they had to go and do life group on Zoom and uh, that was all new but they did a great job caring for everybody. I just thank you for our life group leaders and our worship team. I'm so excited during the pandemic and when we started meeting again they grew and we have this awesome worship team. We have amazing volunteers, greeters, ushers, kids workers. Center Point Church Long Beach, I am so proud of you. We had baptisms, we saw people get saved during this time, so God is still at work, and so I am so proud to be the pastor at Center Point Church Long Beach, looking forward to 2021 and what God's gonna do through our campus. Hey everyone, Pastor John here from Center Point Massapequa, and just, I know that last year was very, very hard for all of us, but I wanted to share a couple things that were wins from our campus. Uh, the first one was just the incredible generosity from our people. Uh, we actually had more people giving than in 2019, and so we were able to continue the work of God through this campus unhindered uh, by finances, and so that's a huge praise and a huge thank you to everybody who gave. Uh, but our people didn't just give financially, they also gave in food. Uh, so we were able to open a food pantry here to help in response to the pandemic. We gave out over 16,000 pounds of food to around 300 families over the last few months. And all of that was because of the incredible generosity and donations of our people. So thank you again so much. 
Uh, the second big win for us in the year was that all of our life groups were able to switch over to digital format while we couldn't meet in person. And we had more people plugged into life groups than we have ever had in the entire history of our church. And our life groups, it was difficult, not necessarily getting to meet in person, but we were still able to connect and to serve. We had life groups that were making masks for first line responders. We had life groups that were writing letters to senior citizens who were shut in. Uh, we had life groups serving in many different capacities. And I'm so proud of all of our leaders and about 60% of those leaders are right here in the Massapequa campus. So two huge wins that we're so excited uh, God was able to bless us with in 2020. And I'm so excited about all the great things that lie in store for us as a campus in the year ahead.